right, so you know about merging, you know about rebasing, and there's one last thing that you do less often than the other two, and that is git cherry picking. And in this episode, you're going to learn about cherry picking and how you would handle hotfixes, for example, with cherry picking. Let's check it out. All right, so back in the project, think that you want to go back to master branch and continue working on your project like normal. And in the last episode, you added a couple of animals. So it's just sane to continue adding animals like a silverback here, right? And you just give the silverback one method, public void raw, if you can actually raw, and that's it. You commit that change, you say added silverback in the history, and you're good to go. But then you kind of get sidetracked after pushing that change to origin and continue on the feature branch. And in the feature branch, you might want to add a new package like um, rewrite. That's what we developers like to do. And inside of the rewrite, you suddenly add a couple of classes like Kubernetes and Helm because now your little zoo that you build needs uh, Kubernetes support or whatever. And you start writing stuff here. So that's just a simple hello world helm. Yeah, obviously it doesn't make too much sense, but something like that. And you commit with a message saying new Kubernetes slash helm support. All right. Now, meanwhile, one of your customers dials in and says there's a problem on production and you need a hotfix. And that hotfix can be as simple as maybe we open up the kitten class and uh, instead of the meow, system or print meow, it should only do it like this. And that's the hotfix. So you commit, you forget on what branch you're in. You're still in the Kubernetes branch, but you commit and push your hotfix. And then you keep working on another class, maybe the Kubernetes class itself here, system out print on something, right? You commit. And the thing is now you're thinking about at this point, you need to redeploy your software and you suddenly find out that everything you did is the hotfix and everything else is in your feature branch, but you're deploying master branch. And what you want to do is you actually want to cherry pick just one commit, and that is the kitten commit. You don't want to merge the whole branch, the whole feature branch back to master, but you just want to copy one commit to master. And you can do that quite easily with Git with a feature called cherry picking. And when you have the log open in IntelliJ, you can right click a commit or multiple commits and then say cherry pick. Now, as we're still in the feature branch, it says all changes have already been applied. That's true. So you have to make sure to go to master branch, check out master branch. And now you can try cherry picking again. So click cherry pick and you'll see a new commit window opens up. And that's very important. A cherry pick is a new commit with exactly the same changes as the other commit, but it's not like the same commit. So you apply your hotfix here. You can still see in the window below what changed, right? Do it like this. And now you can push it and the commit, the hotfix commit now is also in master branch. As you can see here, origin master has the hotfix commit as well as the feature branch. And I mislabeled the Kubernetes check-in with hotfix, but that is the, this line here is the actual hotfix. Now, one question might pop up and it's if it's a new commit, and if I now merge the whole branch to the feature branch to master, what will Git do? Will the commits be there twice? And we can find out by just trying to merge the feature branch into master branch, like so. Right, you merge it, and as you can see, nothing really changed in the kitten class, so there's no duplicate lines or whatever. And the commit has only been applied once and Git was actually smart enough to figure out that the changes, even though it's two different commits, are the same changes so it doesn't reapply the uh, commit again. 
in general, that's what it does. Sometimes I had problems in the past with uh, cherry picks where lines could be committed twice, but as a rule of thumb, it just works as expected. And as an exercise, play around with it. Do a couple of cherry picks. Do a cherry pick with multiple commits. See if that works. And if you create multiple commits for multiple cherry picks, so if it's just one huge commit, find out what it does. If you have any problems, post them in the forums or just send me an email. Congrats, you should now be fairly confident in your merging, rebasing, cherry picking skills. And up next as one topic, and that is what to do when things go wrong. How can you abort a merge? How can you reset your current branch to whatever is on origin? So it's all about aborting and resetting your Git repository. Let's get right after it.